Number 81. Number 81. I just love government work. The claim center provides a centralized area where allegiance claims are processed. Over here are the actual terminals. This is the heart of the system. Captain Dravik. Counselor. I didn't expect to see you here. Well, I was about to say the same myself, milady. Oh, Captain, please. There's no need to stand on ceremony. Well, it's my pleasure. May I introduce my crew? This is my first officer, Roxy Maraca, and my chief of security, Dojin. Milady. Charmed. Intervention specialists. We wanted to see how things were proceeding with our new brothers in arms. My lady wishes to know more of our lot. There's somebody I should have you meet. Lord Rislew. Yes, my lady. Lord Rislew, I'd like you to meet Captain Aaron Dravik and the crew of the Privateer Rapier. Captain Dravik, Lord Varys Rislew, Counselor of Denur. We've met. You have? Yes, I've made use of the captain's services before. That's not entirely accurate. We decline. I've never heard of you ever turning down an assignment in the name of Allegiance, Captain, no matter how daunting. Has he ever told you the one about Captain Gree? Why, no. Captain Bereva Gree was one of the most fearsome pirates ever produced. Before the Alliance, she was the Allegiance's deadliest enemy. I believe, Captain, that you and she were rather close. Really? For a time. Unfortunately, when Captain Dravik arranged the current agreement between the Allegiance and the Pirate Brethren, it was on the condition that all of the pirates join. Captain Gree refused. What happened? They killed her. That's not entirely accurate. Last call for number 81. Number 82. Captain. I see we're keeping you from your livelihood until we meet again. We should continue this discussion, milady. I agree, Captain. Until later. Milady. Lord Risley. Did you hear what he said to you? Why didn't you do something? That's exactly what he wanted. One never gains respect by losing composure, Roxy. Account number. Nine zero seven dash six four four dash three eight one six dash zero zero five. Claims. Assaults on Sarkovian shipping and military installations as per log, plus a covert operation to recover classified military data. Claims approved. Sign here. I get the yellow copy. Take the white one to the cashier. Excuse me, this total is wrong. We're supposed to receive another 75,000 for the data. I have the contract right here. You are authorized to receive half now, and the other half in two months' time, pending review. On whose authority? Commander El Nina. Sir. You haven't been announced. Captain Drabek. Good day, my president. Can we do something for you today? Actually, there's a matter I must discuss with the commander. And what would that be? The 75,000 my crew and I are owed. There's nothing to discuss. You'll be paid what you're owed. When we can confirm the authenticity of the data. When have I ever lied? Captain, the commander has as much faith in you as I. But surely you must see the need for confirmation. Two months? I realize the system is far from perfect, but just because you and I know the virtues of combining our forces does not mean all the allegiance does. Some members are still very uncomfortable with the whole idea. We cannot do anything too provocative. I understand that. The processing claims through the Bureau of Standards is inefficient procedure. They're a subsection of commerce. It's not like we can make you part of the military. I'm not asking for that, just my 75,000. 
The universe is so vast. There must be some middle ground between the two of you. Look, give me my money. If I haven't done my job, bring me up on charges. Are you willing to put that in writing? Anywhere you want, Commander. Chris Rock, fetch me a scribe. And tell the purser's office to stand by. Yes, Commander. There. That wasn't so hard, was it? Well, we're pirates, not barbarians. <laughs> My president, one of the pirates has gone berserk and taken your daughter hostage. Oh, yes. Very respectable. 